So, why exactly is this ID thing right here purposely an auto number? Why is it purposely going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Well, the reason is because, let me see if I can just do this manually. No, it's not going to let me change it manually, the little chime thing. So I'm going to have to physically go in and explain this little view button over here as well while I do this. So, let me make myself a new table here, and I will, you know, I will name, I'll give this, uh, I'll make this a number, and I will name this field um, primary key example. Now, of course, same rules apply as always. If you can just click and drag and, you know, move things over, and now, now that column is much bigger. But I'm going to do this because now it's a primary key. And, of course, one of the options you can have when starting something is, okay, you don't have it right now because auto number is already done. You can only have one auto number already. But in theory, if you had not this ID tab, auto number would be in this drop-down menu. So... Right now, I have myself primary key examples, and I'll and I'll just do this. I'll make you know one, and you know I'll make this two, and you know I'll I'll make this a three, or well, one of a three. I'll make this a four, make this a five. Okay, cool. So now we see the difference between the ID and no, well, you don't see the difference yet because I just made numbers, but there are multiple views in Access. And to see the data behind the scenes, you have to jump into a different view. So, have you seen The Wizard of Oz? You know, this is the man behind the curtain. So what we're seeing right here, right now, this is what everyday people would see if we were to, you know, put this on a piece of paper or something. This is what they would see right here. Now, if we go and click this View tab, we have our Datasheet view and our Design view. Right now, we're in Datasheet view. This is what we see in Design view. And yeah, I'll save this as uh, Example 3. Why not? I'm terrible with naming conventions right now today. You see what's behind the scenes. You know, this is the field name. It's ID. And primary key example is a number. So we got an auto number and a number. And we also have a little key right here, primary key, next to this ID. Now, for example, I can just say this primary key example. I can just now instead rename this PK example. And I go back to my view button and click it. And yes, I'll save the table because I must save the table for any changes I make. And now you see it says PK example. And same sort of situation here. If I were to simply right click this, and I were to rename the field, and I change this to this is a PK example, and I go switch it in the design view, look, now in the design view, it's already changed. So both views will wind up talking to each other. It's the same page, but as you can see also in the ribbon, we've got the field and tables. Now when I click design view, oh look, there's the design tab. It'll keep switching back and forth to the tools that I can use in both options. So, if I change this, this auto number, and I get rid of it, it's no longer an auto number. It's now, it's now short text. Why not? It's now short text. And I go back and I save it. Yes, yeah, save, yes. Now, of course, I can have ID of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But now let's see if I try to make another 5. The changes you requested were not successful because they would create multiple... Uh, duplicate values in the index, primary key, or relationship. The change in data or fields cannot be duplicated. Basically, what this is trying to tell you, it is trying to tell you that uh, you can't do this because you will duplicate results. So, what that means is, let's say we're an accountant, okay? Let's just assume, oh, that's not an accountant. We did accounting last uh, assignment. Let's assume we are the registrar's office in a school. And there are multiple people named Bob Smith. Okay, that's a very common name, Bob. Very common last name, Smith. 
So what makes Bob Smith different from the other Bob Smith? Because do you want do you want to have both people be under the same name? No. Like what happens if one Bob Smith gets an F and the other Bob Smith gets an A? We can't have both Bob Smiths being counted as the same person. So the auto number is what, or, or sorry, the primary key is what determines that everything is unique. Bob Smith 1 is different from Bob Smith 2, which is different from Bob Smith 3, which is different from Bob Smith 4, so on and so forth. It is a way to ensure that every single piece of data is different different. It is unique. It is not repeated. So the program automatically makes this ID tag as an auto number and fills it in with one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth, just to purposely make sure that the data never change, that, that the data is always different. But you don't have to have this ID tab as your primary key because you can simply go into a diff you can simply take the key off of that by simply clicking the key button. See, there's a key that popped up right there. And now I click it again, the key is gone. And I can simply move it to this guy right here, this hot highlight this area. And now, boom, by clicking that button, now the key icon's there. So now this is a PK example is now the primary key. And save the table, yes, so on and so forth. So now my... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I can see I can have multiple 5s there. I can have everything in ID be 5, and it won't give me an error because my ID is no longer my primary key. My primary key is now, this is a PK example. This is now the field that is determining and making sure that every piece of data is different. So... Now, if I were to, say, put another 6 in here, or actually, I would just make this another 5. Now, because this is my primary key, I can't have two 5s there. I can't have repeat data in the primary key field. So it's going to stop me from doing that. So, whatever your primary key is, this is what will determine and make sure that all your data is unique so that you never have a repeat process. So, there's also some more stuff in this uh, design table that we're going to get into, but I'll save that for the next video.